Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. With Prime Minister Narendra Modi back from his foreign trip, all eyes in the defense establishment are on the Prime Minister's office as a decision on who will be the new Air Force Chief will be out very soon. Primarily, there are two officers in contention and one of them is Air Marshal Suresh who commands the Southern Command of the Indian Air Force. The other one in threatening is Air Marshal Nambiar, the chief of the crucial Western Air Command. Sources say that whoever will be the new chief, he will have a tough task at hand as the government tries to streamline the force. Sources said the Balakot strike and the subsequent air battle on February 27 has changed a lot of dynamics as far as the IF was concerned. There's a growing view in the government that the force, rather than focusing on pure numbers in terms of squadron strength, more thought should be given to the capability of the systems. For example, officials explain this by saying that in basic terms, one squadron of the Rafale with its full weapon system is equal to two squadrons of the Su-30 MKI. Whereas once, India would have deployed two Su-30 MKI for a single F-16 of Pakistan. The enemy will now have to deploy two F-16s for a single Rafale fighter jet. The sources within the government and the IF say that the Balakot strike and the subsequent dogfight has also established that weapon systems including the missiles play a major role and can decide the outcome of a conflict. The explanation behind the weapon system being a great focus is the fact that while India is numerically stronger than the Pakistan Air Force, when it comes to fighting in one particular segment along the border, Pakistan Air Force and the Indian Air Force are on equal terms. And at times, the Pakistan Air Force has an advantage because of better systems, including the weapons on board the F-16s. Another big focus for the government is the jointness, that is the integration of the three services, the Air Force, the Navy and the Army, and the eventual dream of having theatre commands. However, for this, the Indian Air Force has to be on board. And this is something that the government will work on. For The Print, this is Snehish Alex Philip.